中华民国和中美加勒比海国家圣露西亚，自从二零零七年恢复邦交以来，互动频繁。总统马英九曾经在二零一三年亲自出访，圣露西亚则计划今年在台湾设立大使馆，这也是圣露西亚在亚洲邦交国第一个大使馆。And if you are serious about the friendships that you build, you know you need to make an effort to, you know, be present and to reciprocate. So I think, you know, at this point in time, I think if we are going to open an embassy, it should be in Taiwan. We, we did look at a space in, I think, one of your major buildings in the, in the city center. You know, so we are, we are looking at it, we are working on it, and very soon, We should be established. Yes. 圣露西亚外交部长包提斯最近访问台湾，寻觅使馆理想地点。他透露，最快夏天就会完成大使馆的设立。包提斯六天的行程也拜会政府部门，参观竹科和故宫等文经设施。他指出，台湾在教育、科技和健保方面发展进步，值得借鉴。Taiwan presents the ideal scenario for us. The Taiwanese people must take great pride in what they are able to achieve over time. They have placed tremendous emphasis on education, on healthcare, on technology, and they have made some great progress. St. Lucians admire the discipline and the progress that the Taiwanese people have made. And we believe that model is also applicable to us. 包提斯表示，目前台湾在圣露西亚协助焦农防治病害，也提供基础建设和卫生等方面的协助，都有利圣露西亚长期发展。圣露西亚在台湾设立大使馆，希望借此实质回应台湾的协助，也缩短联系距离，加速两国未来发展友好关系。中央社记者洪黄军、王怡文台北采访报道。